Well, a lot of people talk about easier gears on your bike, or should manufacturers offer easier gears on your bike, and then there's the other camp that says, hey, you know, just harden up, get fitter, ride upgrades, and you can push those bigger gears. And there is an argument to both of those opinions. So let's roll that Ingra and let's just have a little bit of a deeper look on whether you should put easier gears on your bike or you should just train harder and get fitter. Well, let's just look at it in a more scientific manner. And if we look at it as far as physics goes, then if you're riding from, say, a place on the coast and you're riding to the top of a hill that's near the coast, then the distance that you would do would be considered the work done. And no matter how fast you would do that, then the work would be the same because you've covered the same distance, you've covered the same elevation and everything. Now, if we do that at faster speed, that means that we've used more power to cover that distance. So that's where, if we're fitter, we can do that quicker. But let's be real, you know, a lot of people buy nice bikes and they're not competing, they're not Cat 1s, they're not in the Pro Peloton, they can't put out 350 watts. They're people who just enjoy their bike and they like riding and they also want to ride up, you know, hills and down hills and on flats and everywhere. So to be able to do all of those different terrains, you need to have gearing that basically fits your fitness. So it's not about getting fitter, it's about adapting the bike so it suits your fitness. And yes, you can get fitter, but the fitness thing takes time. So at some point, you have to start on easier gears then to be able to progress to harder gears. And having harder gears, yeah, it gives you some advantage because therefore you can have closer ratios and so forth. But yeah, that, that might be good in some applications, but really having easier gears on your bike allows you to be able to ride more different terrains at your fitness level. So my view is, is easier gears are a really good thing in the bike industry and it's a shame it's taken so long for manufacturers to start to move towards offering easier gears on road group sets. Now many of the manufacturers are now offering far easier gearing on their bikes and if you have the latest Shimano, the Altegra Duracers, races you can actually fit up to a 40 cassette on these group sets, although they don't come standard with that, but uh, on many of the bikes, and it does depend on the bikes and the, the way they're designed, which does limit sometimes the, uh, the biggest gear you can go to, but in general, the newer group sets, you can fit much, much easier gearing on your bike. And even Cabagnolo, which has historically been very much hey, you've got to ride hard gears if you're riding Camp Magnolia. Well, now you can get the Chorus group set and it has a 4832 on the front with a 1134 on the back, which is pretty, pretty reasonable easy gear for a road group set off the shelf. So we are allowing bikes now to be ridden by, if you want to call them dentists and doctors who may be not as fit as they may be, or even just a general person, let's face it, generally is carrying a little bit more weight than we would like, and uh, we're not as fit as we'd like to be. And this type of group that's coming out on the market is offering the everyday rider to be able to ride pretty nice bikes and be able to climb up pretty steep inclines and not be a pro rider or a Cat 1 rider. So it's really good that I think that manufacturers are offering this variation in group sets. And if you do want to run gearing that is more towards a person who can put out a lot more watts, well, they still offer that. You can change your cassette, you can change your, your front rings, you can go to a 53, 20, uh, 39. So those are still offered. But I think for the average rider, the 50, 34, and the cassettes that are being offering are pretty good for the everyday average rider like you and me. So I think this is a really good thing. So should you ride easier gears on your bike? Well, I do like to have them. 
and the it's not that you're always going to use that easier gear but if you just get a bit tired you've been riding a long time it's a bailate gear or if you do hit a really steep incline which you hadn't accounted for on your ride then you potentially can get up it without having to get off your bike and walk it so that's why i like easy gearing now guys let's just jump into comments corner and let's just see what people had to say on the last video about pa katie compton well, one good question that i really liked was let's just say katie took a band for four years and during that uh, four years then she actually maintained her illegal drug use but then when she came back to the sport in four years time then she stopped taking the drugs would that performance enhancement still carry for some time and would that be allowed that she's been taking drugs while she's not been competing professionally would that be allowed now i don't really know the answer to that so maybe someone can give the answer in downstairs down in the comments and uh, because yeah i would like to know that that's actually a pretty interesting comment i thought and it's um it, it really does put a bit of a question mark over this whole drugs should we allow drugs shouldn't we allow drugs now there was some other comments that related to should we just let everyone use drugs and let them let them do it because you know potentially we could actually believe that most of these top end sportsmen are taking something anyway so you know is it a bit of a masquerade that we have all of these labs we have all these bodies and they're taking all this sampling to try and catch these cheaters but we're really not catching them because they're always one step ahead of the testing or of the labs and we should we just say hey look you can take drugs but it needs to be administered medically and those drugs need to be limited to certain levels that aren't dangerous so that is another argument that we could have with professional sports because you know some people were even commenting that people are taking enhancing drugs just to get koms for you know the bragging rights so that's pretty sad because you know abuse of some of these drugs if they're not administered correctly can have sort of health implications down the road and if you you watch any of these sports youtubers that have been doing these sorts of drugs for a long time and admit to it there is problems associated with going down this route well anyway guys that's where i'm going to leave it and i will catch you next vid cheers